I think this is state of the art. A lot of our real high capability customers are asking for this, and I think it's going to be in hot demand moving forward as IoT, smart manufacturing, smart industry 4.0 comes online. Mike, one of my favorite topics to talk about in machining is horizontal machining, along with turning and vertical machining and pallet change and automate. Okay, I like it all. I'm not going to lie. I do like it all. But horizontal machining is a lot of fun because we realize, a lot of us realize anyway, that on average, it takes about 10 vertical machines can be replaced by about two horizontal machines to get more or less on average the same amount of parts out. The way the tombstones work, the way the chips flush, the way that we're able to create better finishes, oftentimes longer tool life. Today, that is what we know. That is the conversation we have on a regular basis about horizontal machining. However, you have some bullet points that go outside of just the standard horizontal machining that I think are fascinating and incredibly valuable for the audience watching right now that are very specific to this machine and a lot of other machines within the JTEC family. Would you mind touching base on some of the features of the machine side? And then we'll get into the software side. Let's start with the machine hardware side first. Sure, thanks, Tony. So yeah, it, when it comes to production machining, nothing says that more than a horizontal machining center. Here at JTEC, with our heritage of being part of Toyota Motors, started decades ago as part of the car company, the company that invented the Toyota production system. It's in our DNA to build production machining. Uh, horizontals are our flagship product. This is what we spend the majority of our time doing. Uh, obviously, we have many other types of machines, but horizontals are near and dear to my heart, at least here at JTEC. Uh, this is our newest machine, an FH5000 series. It comes in three different variants. We're standing in front of the FH5500SX, which is our 50 taper high torque. We also have a 50 taper high speed and a 40 taper high speed. Uh, any of them can do any range of materials, aluminum, steel, cast iron, ink and L, titanium, you name it. Some are a little better at it than others. Uh, but what really sets us apart when it comes to our horizontals is that DNA of quality, reliability, uptime that Toyota Motors imbues into everything that we do. So for example, on this machine, as I mentioned, it's our latest and greatest. In my opinion, and I think I'll prove it objectively, the best Japanese built machine tool in the 500 millimeter space on the market today. Uh, here's a couple of reasons why. Number one, biggest work envelope, on the inside, smallest footprint on the outside. Nice. So obviously maximizing shop floor space is key. Our coolant system, when you get a look at it, super compact, tight to the machine, still packs 1,000 PSI high pressure standard to it, along with advanced cyclonic filtration. We got a clear plastic container that extra chips fall into, very easy to see for an operator, very easy to teach how to maintain. Almost maintenance free, don't have to change filters, things like that. When it comes to the production capability, highest throughput you'll get will be through this machine. Fastest axial acceleration up to 1.2 G in uh, the axes when it's moving in linear motion. Uh, spindles, we offer a range of spindles, as I mentioned, in taper size and capability. We also offer a very high speed, high acceleration where you can get up to 15,000 RPM in about half a second for automotive applications where you need to go hole from hole super fast, drilling, tapping, things like that. Uh, other things, the control on this is amazing. Uh, this is something that's standard on all JTEC machining centers, uh, horizontal machining centers. So we have a FANUC 31i underneath that I mentioned is fully loaded, mm -hmm. comes with a thousand block look ahead for high speed machining, mm -hmm. maxed out control memory, additional workpiece offsets, tool offsets, standard tool life management, pallet management, maintenance recovery. I'll show you a couple cool highlights real quick here. This is a maintenance screen where we're actually showing all the different sub-assemblies on the machine. Spindle, tool magazine, gearboxes, table, and then all of the signal states. So solenoids, valves, switches, and what they're currently doing. You might run into an issue where, oh, I'm trying to run production on my machine, uh, trying to do a tool change, it thinks the door is open, the door is actually closed. I can go right to this screen, go to the tool magazine, see the switch for door open or door close, what its current state is, and if I hit the ladder monitor button, go straight to the FANUC ladder, jump straight to the correct rung, whole ladder's commented, very easy to troubleshoot. To try to prevent you from ever having problems, what I think is even cooler, is 
we have predictive maintenance baked into the machine. I, I think this is state of the art. A lot of our real high capability customers are asking for this, and I think it's going to be in hot demand moving forward as IoT, smart manufacturing, smart industry 4.0 comes online. So what we're doing is everything in the machine, every switch, solenoid, valve, cylinder, anything that actuates, we count every single cycle of that component. And we pre-program into the machine an expected life for that component. And then we know how close it is to expected life. So maybe the door cylinder has a million cycles. And when it approaches a million cycles, we soft alarm to the operator, give a message that says, hey, this component, probably you should get on order. In the past when you had to buy parts, I know I've done it, you go take a picture of the part, try to find what the part number is, you're flipping through the manual, email it to the OEM to try to find out. We give you the part number, we give you the picture, we give you instructions on how to replace it, all right in the CNC, it's all automated. So it, in theory, will help you get all of that done at a convenient time for you to replace things rather than unplanned downtime, which nobody likes. Nobody likes, for sure. You know what I like, though, is when someone does such a good job, I don't need to ask any follow-up questions. <laughs> Mike nails every component of our conversation, making my job real easy. The only thing I think I need to bring up after talking about all of the benefits of this machine, and I see why you're proud of it and you brag about it. I mean, you're right. We're helping people with this technology. The only thing I want to bring up maybe is, is the software panel near the tool changer on the back end. Hmm. I think this is something that's also quite valuable. If I'm not mistaken, you have a customer who purchased it just for that because he was tired of checking his Fitbit and going back and forth and back and forth on the machine. Can we discuss that a little bit? Yeah, so he's probably going to be losing his weekly competition with his friends for steps now. <laughs> but um, in our control, we have, as I mentioned, a whole suite of tool life management. Uh, so besides just tool life, we have all the offsets, wear, geometry, redundant tool information. Is it a heavy tool? Is it a lightweight tool? You can speed up or slow down the tool change. Adaptive control settings. So if you hit hard spots, it'll automatically slow down to protect tools. If a tool breaks, it can detect that the horsepower draw falls too low. I go on and on about it. What's really cool is that it's not just here at the main operation panel, but on the magazine, we've got about a seven or eight inch size uh, full color touchscreen like you'd have on a large cell phone. And all of this functionality is duplicated at the magazine load station in a more convenient mobile friendly format. So while you're loading tools or unloading tools or checking tools at the magazine side without interrupting machine operation or having to load a tool, run back here, type it in, run back there, load a new tool, run back here, type, you do it all right there at the panel. Super easy, uh, way more friendly for the operator. I think it's gonna make a lot of people happy who have to change tools a lot. Except for if you need exercise, but we don't always want the exercise. I'm not stopping you from running in a circle around the machine if you want to. <laughs> Absolutely correct. It will be better for the operator for sure. If you do have more questions, because Mike and I can talk about this all day, and there is a ton more within this software that we can go into detail with, I highly recommend you give Mike a call, give Toyota, give JTEC a call. I think it's important that you get all of your questions answered. And we're not going to take too much more of your time because I think, Mike, you did such a wonderful job just letting people know enough to wet your whistle and get you excited, I think, to give these guys a buzz. Otherwise, just like all of our conversations off camera, he and I will be here a long time just talking about everything. So I hope that's enough. If you have questions, leave it in the comments. Tag Mike or myself. We'll make sure to take care of you. If you have any further questions, you can give JTEC a call anytime. Really a great sales and service team for the lifetime of the machine, I believe, according to some other interviews. Free lifetime got... tech support, phone, email, applications, questions, for sake of talking about support. Obviously, horizontals, they're the beating heart of a lot of production companies. We carry over $40 million of spare parts in stock in this facility. We've got over 200 spindles in stock for our machining centers. Not that we need that many, but because our Toyota machines, JTEC machines, because our JTEC machines run 25, 30, 35 years, uh, we support all of those machines in the field. If we know a machine's running and that there's at least one of those models in North America, we have a spindle for that model on the shelf right now, ready to go into the machine. Never had a customer need a spindle we haven't shipped same day. Same story I said on our bridge machines earlier. Uh, support's really important to us. We wanna keep you running here. So whether it's our 60 field service technicians, our 40 engineers, or our $40 million in spare parts, of which 97% ship same day, we've got you covered when you come to us. 
We've got you covered in this conversation. We've got you covered in spare parts. Mike's got me covered and teaching me something new in this conversation. We appreciate you all watching. Mike, as usual, holy moly, what a vast <laughs> wealth of knowledge Thank you, you have. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you as well. Gosh, you're good at this. Thank you.